Well, a huge amount at stake here. So important to get off to a good start, a positive start. There is uh, Yuki Ishikawa, the Japanese coach, and his opposite number there, Nikola Grebic. So a reminder of the teams. Again, there is the Japanese team. Yamamoto, the uh, libero. Ishikawa, number 14, the key player for them. And the Serbian lineup, the starting six. And it'll be Japan to get us underway. Best of five sets, remember, first to 25 points. That's a good defence. And the first spike, well dealt with by the Japanese blockers. And terrific. Instant response there from... Nishida, the opposite spike up. A 3.46 spike. So Nishida continues with the serve. And this ball can travel. Really well dug out there by the, uh, the Libero. Excellent defence again. This time at Ishikawa doing defensive duties. Oh, it's good placement. Really nicely placed there. Nishida in the thick of it here in the early stages. Takano, the wing spiker there. So uh, first two points on the board for Japan. But remember, Japan have lost on 21 occasions to the Serbian hosts in previous meetings. Good block. Time to reset again the set. Nicely done. Serbia up on the board. That'll settle the nerves. Petkovic, the captain. 328 centimeter spike. He can get some height. Touch away, and uh, Nishida seeing plenty of action, plenty of the ball in these early stages. The blockers went up in unison. All those drills worked so, so carefully in the off-season. Takano then, the wing spiker. Uh, went for the dummy, and it was... Uh, not bought by the uh, the Japanese blockers, and that is away. And Serbia now just starting to find their feet early in this opening set. Two technical timeouts, remember, the first of those at eight points, and then again at 16, and two tactical timeouts, which can be called by the coach at the appropriate time. That's Petkovic, then, with the serve. There's the set. It's good reaction again, doubly so by Ishikawa. And desperate diving attempt there by the Serbian libero. That was lovely, really good. Excellent skill from Ishida. Hakuru. Good block, back it comes. Oh, just long, was it? Yeah. Uh, maintaining there was a touch. A little emotion from uh, Nikola Grivic. Well, deemed to have touched a challenge from Japan. So we wait the judgment. Ball went long. Question is, did he get a touch on the way? We'll just wait for the replay to confirm. Here we go. It's close. There was a touch. So Japan continue to impress here in the early stages. 3-4 becomes 5-2.
Takahashi. Oh dear, no. Lack of concentration there from Kuyunzik. And this is something of an unexpected start here, you have to say. Serbia yet to settle. Timeout call by Serbia. And not surprisingly, really, this is not the start they would have anticipated at all. Of course, you can hear there, Nikola Grovic, the former setter, was a, a great player in his day, won uh, Olympic bronze and then Olympic gold in Sydney. He's been in charge since 2015. Hugely respected, not just throughout the team, but throughout the country as well. But slight concern here for the host nation. Given the way they've dominated this fixture over the years, they would have expected a, a better start than this. But all credit to the Asian champions, Japan, have come out really smartly here. Can they build? Hakuri then to continue with a four-point advantage in this first set. Nice, that's better. Really cleanly hit there from Petkovic, the captain. They need a captain's performance to get Serbia up and running here. Shidi again, making himself a nuisance. He's had a great start to this set. Plenty of time yet, plenty of time. If you're a home supporter, but Japan are really enjoying themselves in these early stages. Sakita then with the serve. Dummy, a nice. So one point away from the first technical tie-now. Spike starting to warm up over 100 kilometers an hour. Kovacic then, the middle blocker with the serve. Lofted, took the pace off it well. And that's nicely done again. This time it's uh, Onodera who converts, takes Japan to a technical timeout. And they are eight points to four to the good. And it's been a, a terrific opening 12 points here for Japan. The visitors remember here. And Nishida has been at the heart. He's been at the heart of everything that's been good about Nishida. Look at the height he gets there. The left-hander. A couple of smart serves to start the set as well, of course. Four points to his name already. He's scored, he's responsible for half of Japan's tally so far in this first set. Only 19 years old, remember. He's the youngest in the team. But he's quite a talent, young in age, but very wise in ability. So Japan on resumption here. Ishikawa, the danger man, with ball in hand. The serving, the level of serving from Japan has been excellent. That's great defence there. There's Nishida again. Did he get the touch? Yes, he did. Well, he's continuing to go from strength to strength here. All the pre-match focus really was on Yuki Ishikawa, the uh, number 14, the wing spiker for Japan. But he's actually been outshone here by his younger teammate, Nishida. Fizzing serve again, and that's away. Well, well, well. Many people watching here will not have been aware of Nishida as a name before this match. Well, they are now. So Ishikawa retains the serve. Slicely retrieved. 
There's the set. Easy pickings. Onodera again, this time with the winning spike. And Japan have come out of the blocks here really, really impressively. S Serbia calling a second time out here. Worrying times then for their coach, Nikola Gurovic. Suggestion there that the team is showing signs of nerves, perhaps the pressure of playing on home soil in front of a home crowd. I mentioned that many of these players play their club volleyball in this very stadium. So the familiarity should be an advantage, you would have thought. And leading by 11 points to four in this opening set. First to 25, remember. That's much better. That's smartly done there. Very little backlift. Krasmanovic using all two meters five of his height. Todorovic. It's just too easy. Where was the defense there? Too, too easy for Japan. Onodera once again. It's Onodera who will serve. Remember, the, the serve normally favors the defending team expected to retrieve that's why the server tends to put as much pace on the ball as possible it's a question of getting that optimum mix of pace and control not successful on that occasion for the japanese team sedovic then oh, it was dipping viciously really well dealt with well dug out Excellent block. Now then, Serbia starting to get the wind in their sails, you sense here. Rather sloppy start. Perhaps just caught cold slightly by the, uh, the way Japan started, but just in the last couple of points, a sense that Serbia is starting to find their rhythm. Sirovic. Another touch. And Nishida, just in case we thought he'd gone quiet for a moment, he's back, very much so. Nishida, his sixth point of this opening set. And here he is. And that was vicious. Unable to start building the point. And Nishida again. Serbia retain. Oh, that's sloppy. That's a mistake there. And just further signs, perhaps, this time from uh, Kujundic. It was a very, very makeable shot. Shida, well, maintaining their advantage of seven points. The left-hander really putting... Excellent revs on, on that ball. And we're getting just a fascinating end-on shot. Touch of the net. So Serbia come away with the point. Have to make sure that advantage doesn't grow too wide. go-to man each time and this time it missed its mark went with a left hand down the line and Serbia narrow the gap to five two slightly concerned faces in the crowd mixing it up nicely there Japan on that occasion oh, it's 
too good. Really nice again. It's the captain. Petkovic. Getting it really high. And that ball was travelling, I can tell you. When you think the net is eight foot tall. Time out Japan. Their first. So I just want that you move a little bit more. Yeah, the technical timeouts can be used at the discretion of the coach, of course, and often used to disrupt the rhythm and the momentum. And that was probably a, a very wise time to just collect the players together. That advantage now, having been seven points, now reduced to just four. Second technical timeout, just a couple of points away. So Petar Krasmanovic taking the pace off the ball. That's terrific. Now, Ishikawa. It's been relatively quiet. It's been rather outshone by. The youngster, the 19-year-old Nishida. Nishikawa just reminding of us of his skill and talent. Takano. Oh, got the touch. Got the touch. Point goes Serbia's way. They delay the second technical timeout of this opening set. So these are important moments here for Japan. They know that Serbia will come out, come back at them hard. Petkovic then. And that's an example there. Really had to go for it, had to be bold. And Japan have a five-point lead coming into this second technical timeout of this opening set. Okay. Okay. Well, the points being distributed from Japan's point of view pretty evenly. Nishida way out in front, of course, with those six, but three from Ishikawa, three from Onodera. Those the three standout players the first half of this opening set here. So advantage, Japan and Ri with ball in hand. Oh, it's good blocking, but it's uh, out of court. Serbia continue to limit the damage. Clean ace. That's excellent serving. Koyunzic. Well, he's one of the players in the Serbian team who's based here at uh, Vojvodina. Novi Sad. Japan then, with a real opportunity here. If they could just maintain this lead and take that first set, that would put real pressure on Serbia to come out and take the game to them. And Japan come away with the point again. They're continuing to build here. Looking a 
little bit shell shocked at the moment, Serbia. It's not just not clicking for them at the moment. Sakita. Oh, that was a clean hit. Really nicely done. Stefan Kovacevic. In the middle blocker. Again, another Novi Sad boast Serbian player. There's the set on. Finds his mark once again, does uh, Ishikawa. He was so, so strong and instrumental in the success that Japan had in matches last year. He was their standout player by some distance. 187 points in total last year. Oh, it's delicious. It's really nice. And if Nishida is the standout player in the Japanese team, well, you have to say the Serbian captain, Dusan Petkovic, has been pretty special as well. He said, there we go. Are you going to buy that dummy? And they did, obligingly. Still four points the difference here. Serbia need to find something special. A late surge. Good defence, well dug out. Now they're starting to fire. Did they get the touch? Yes, they did. Will there be a challenge? Will there be a challenge? Yeah, there is a challenge. Disputing the call. Deemed to have got the touch. Point awarded to Serbia momentarily. But dependent on the outcome of this review. There's no touch. Okay. Let's have a look again. Oh. No touch. right to challenge a successful challenge so Serbia now five points adrift and Japan hit the all-important 20-point mark can they kick on from here and take this first set oh, no doubt about that it's a clear block it's a really good spike Sinovic This is the time you feel in this first set for Serbia just to start putting some pressure on the visitors. Out of that gap, just, just a couple. Not like that, they won't. So Japan then, just four points from taking this opening set. And uh, the man with the ball in hand, Yuji Nishida, has been a key player here. The 19-year-old, the left-hander, gets some real whip on that serve. Excellent defence as well. Look at the reaction there, terrific. And Japan once again come away with it, turning defence into attack brilliantly. And Nishida had a part to play. On at least two occasions there. The Serbian team a little bit shell shocked here. Nishida then with six points to his name. Excellent blocking. All three went up in unison. And look, they're celebrating on the bench. They love it. And now the Japanese team looking really relaxed. Many people would not have seen this coming. Still early days, of course. Japan now within sight of this first set. It's nicely done, just checking Petkovic. Will there be a challenge again coming in here? Other. Just 
just waiting for confirmation to see if there is a challenge coming in. No challenge. Oh, it's clean away. And that could be costly. That could be costly. Because Japan now. Set point. And thoroughly deserved it is too, you have to say. All the evidence of this opening set here in Novi Sad. Takano. Taking the pace off the ball. Rather risky. Oh, that's nicely dug out. Oh, maybe that could have gone. But on we play. One of the longest rallies of this first set so far. Yes, beautifully done. Ishikawa tellingly and fittingly with the winning spike. And it's Japan who take this first set. On merit, you have to say, they've been quite outstanding. Nishida and Ishikawa in particular. Look at that athletic defence, that's terrific stuff. And it's Japan who've taken this opening set by 25 points to 17. Japan with the advantage very much against the form book and against the record book as well remember only three victories in 24 previous meetings and here are the setter contact points for Japan the main setter Sakita Ashihiro Sakita and contrasting with Serbia so the Japanese setter far more influential you have to say in that first match than his opposite number in the Serbian team. So Serbia, the host nation here, will have to come from behind. And Serbia, remember, finished equal fifth in the VNL last year in the inaugural Volleyball Nations League. Japan finished down in 12th, having won six but lost nine of their 15 matches. Serbia won 11 of their 15 last year, but so far in 2019 it's the lower ranked team who made the better start here the big question is have they got the talent Get us underway. Ah, oh, it's nice. And once again, Japan smartly out of the blocks. Hakuri there with that opening winning spike. A little blocker. It's for uh, Tore Arrows back in Japan. 
And here's the man who was very much the player in that opening set, Uji Nishida. Oh, that was a full serve. He has served so, so well, you have to say. Second ace of the match for him. Takes his tally to eight points. Oh, no. And just so many shots that are bread and butter, really. From the Serbian team are just going astray and it just suggests to me maybe nerves or trying a little bit too hard perhaps the pressure of playing in front of the home crowd but a dream start here in set two for Japan Shida continuing to pull the strings here nice now Japan can build again and yes it's well it's the two players who caught the eye in the first set Ishikawa who was the standout player in 2018 for Japan. And Nishida between them, controlling this match so far. Japan already opened up a four-point lead. Substitution for Serbia. Number 22 is on. Ilimanovic for Todorovic. So the Serbian coach here ringing the changes. A couple of tactical timeouts in that first set. So far, his message is not getting through. At least according to the scoreboard. Terrific. Well, Japan here are playing quite outstandingly. They are Takano there, the wing spiker, with a 338 spike. Demonstrating why he's so so feared. Oh, blocking excellently done, but the ball's still alive. And again, such discipline in the net from the Japanese blockers. Up they go again. Now they have chance to build. Serbia, it's away. Terrific defense. Not once, not twice, but three times from the Japanese team and once again that was uh, Takano there and there's uh, Ishikawa brought the error and it's time out called by Serbia again worrying times for the host nation okay well, in terms of tone and body language, much more animated that uh, tactical timeout compared to the first set. He was quite calm and measured in his message, but there he's, you can tell, starting to show a bit of fire in the belly. And he will be concerned. His side are set and 1-6 down here. Japan playing beautifully. No, another error. And it's just another example of things just misfiring on all sorts of levels. No wonder the captain there, Petkovic, is uh, looking a little bit worried. Six points the advantage here to Japan, to Kano. There's the set. That's better. That's more like it. We saw so much of that particular strategy last year. That was Sirovic, Raza Sirovic. His third point of the match so far. Here is the captain. Nope. Technical timeout. We have 8 2 the advantage here to Japan. And another chance for the Serbian coach Nikola Grovic there to get his message across. 
prvi tempo, ukoliko je u sredini negde mreže, da se lopta odvoji od mreže ovamo, da pravimo da gađamo stranu koja je slabija na bloku. Da se gađamo od izača. Oni će verovatno praviti neke izbore i šta ja znam. Provajte da gađate gore. Visoko po prstima, ljudi. Da bi smo izišli odavde, opet vam kažem, treba nam boja otvrna i kontra. Da probamo kao prvo, kao prvo, da nagradimo igru za... Well, Yuki Ishikawa has uh, started to grow into this match and let's just uh, take a look at some of the action from the early part of this set. Ishikawa gets such great height. He's only 191, which actually in volleyball terms is uh, he's not very tall at all. He's got uh, several teammates who are way, way taller, but the height he generates is exceptional. Eight two, then the advantage. Second set, Japan. Oh, it's good defense. It's terrific. Keeps the ball alive. Serbia have to go again. This time they get the, the ball through. And once again, it is Sirovic starting to enjoy himself over on that left side there, going cross court, getting the touch, exceeding 80 kilometers an hour. He can go much, much quicker than that. Sirovic then. That's uh, too, too much on it. Really difficult to control. The serve cannot be underestimated. It really is a difficult skill, getting that precision, the control, but of course also the speed. There's no point in putting over a soft serve. It's just going to get sent back with interest. And the... Uh, receiving team almost inevitably will win the point you have to go for your serve which is why we see a lot of them going either long or into the net so japan continue to enjoy a comfortable advantage here spike and he was uh, petkovic again coming in on the right hand side it's Japan who come away with the point. And it's Ishikawa once again. Doing his dissensive duties alongside his teammate Onodera. And just see rolling the hand over the ball to give it some top spin to bring it down over the net. It was a good intention there just to mix it up, but the execution not quite there on that occasion. So hand out and Serbia then with a chance to try and drag themselves back into this match. That was well read there. Petkovic, captain, and on we go. Nice, really good improvisation there from uh, Onodero, who goes to five in the match so far. Serbia just not put together any rhythm at all. They've had the odd point here or there, maybe a couple, but they haven't put together a sequence that's done any damage. Ishikawa then. Serving here. With seven points to his name so far in the match. It's a good stinging serve. Well dug out there by... Serbian defence and Petkovic puts it away. Certainly Petkovic has settled better than some of his teammates in this uh, first set and a bit. Nice. It's starting to get reasonably serious in terms of speed. Over 110 kilometres an hour. Rolled it over. Chance for Japan to build again. Yeah. There's the block, but it's out. And Ishikawa once again comes away with the spoils. And 
just they're doing really well to just maintain that five six point advantage just to keep Serbia at bay and if they can keep them at arm, arm's length for this second set well who knows that would be some comeback plenty of volleyball still to be played here though Petkovic thwarted Involved in that last point, six points the advantage. So Japan with a chance to build here. 12 6 they lead. Second set also took the first. Serbia need to find something good here. And has that gone wide? It has. Well, even Petkovic, the captain, who's had a pretty good match so far, misfiring on that occasion. He doesn't need to say anything. He's just he must be seething inside. Frustrated, certainly. Oh, Madeira. Wow, that was drifting long, and the Serbian back row player there caught in two minds and end, ended up giving the ball a touch. Serovic, it was just drawn into it, and another timeout called by Nikola Grubic. Further words required with eight points now the gap in this second set. Well, the team spirit appears to be pretty good. But the scoreboard is telling a different story here in terms of what matters. And what matters is that Japan are on their way here to doubling their advantage in this opening match. Opening pool four match, remember. Second match later on here in Novi Sad is a repeat of the VNL 2018 final. Russia, the champions against France, the runners-up. There's the set. Petkovic again. And it's gone long. No touch and no challenge from Serbia. So, if anything, in this second set, more emphatic than in the first from Japan's perspective. Just a point away from the second technical timeout. There is a challenge coming in from Serbia. It took a while, a block touch challenge. They want another look at this. This could be a crucial call here. Okay. The ball went long. The question is, did it get a touch on the way? No. No touch. Score stands. Japan leading by nine points here in set two. And it's just a question now of continuing to, to build. Another substitution for Serbia. Number 23. Vucicevic coming on for captain. Petkovic. No, it's good improvisation. A chance here for Japan, surely now, to put the ball away. And they do. Of course they do. Hakari converting there. Technical timeout. Japan. All is rosy in the garden from Japan's point of view. 16 6 they lead. And any doubt at all about whether they could maintain that momentum yeah. into the second set? They took the first, of course, and then opened up a four point okay. gap. If you have two men blocked, in two men the blocked you, you take this direction. Ah, okay. If you are wrong, you can. Ah, okay. 
that's all right. Ah, across it, OK. Well, Onodera has been also playing his part. That was a terrific block. He's a level on points with uh, Nishida. He's certainly been the story of the first set and a half, but Onodera, along with uh, Ishikawa, those are three standout players, certainly in terms of points accumulated. But it's been a terrific team effort. Yamamoto, okay. of course, as well as the Ribeiro, has been playing his part too. So nine more points required for this second set. And here is Onodera. Again, not a cleanest contact on that dig. And again, it just puts the Serbian team on the back foot. These are basic technical skills that too often from a Serbian point of view are not being executed as well as they should be. It's the simplest of blocks there. Takano with the touch. much better pushed it down rather than struck it with the palm of the hand it's much more promising from Serbia's point of view that's ah, terrific on those encounters at the net is Japan have come out on top so many occasions again the block not doing its job so here is the young man Yushi Nishida that's a wicked serve the left hander with a little bit of swing to it as well but it's Serbia against the serve who come away with the spoils on that occasion celebrate every point because there haven't been that many of them in truth that's a terrific spike over three meters nicely angled Mitch a reply in kind from uh, Takano on this occasion so 11 points now the advantage and that is a healthy one Barrow nicely done. Yep. Serbia picking up points at regular intervals here, but once again not able to put together a sequence that'll start to really do any damage. Substitution for Japan. And it's gone long. Fukatsu is on for Japan. Hideomi Fukatsu, the setter. Well, Serbia guilty of a rotation problem there. Just giving away the simplest of points. Kovacevic, I think the guilty party there. Generous to say the least in terms of giving away free points. Can Japan capitalize here? Flatter serve with the palm of the hand. And that's gone long, but was there a touch? Tisevich with the winning shot. David Mitch. What a run up to this. No. Nope. 
three points from doubling their advantage here are Japan. And this will be some upset here in the opening match, remember, here of the weekend in Novi Sad. And all three scampering after the ball and to no avail. And no wonder it's all smiles in the Japanese team. Otake there really enjoying himself. The team spirit we've been hearing over the last few days in, in the Japanese team, absolutely outstanding. And you can tell there the way they are quitting themselves here. There's the set. Oh, that's terrifically dug out there by the uh, Libera for Japan. Up on his feet again, Ishikawa. Once again, terrific retrieval. And a third time. And on we go. Wow, terrific. Serbia come out on top. But that is our first mega rally of the match so far. Outstanding skill from both sides. The defence initially from Japan quite brilliant let's enjoy this again up go the blockers terrific from the libero there to dig that ball out and keep it alive hits the head actually of Onodera and eventually the winning spike comes from Katic now could that be a turning point it's a long way back but could it give them, even if they don't retrieve this second set, could it give them some momentum, some belief for the third? Japan, of course, need to get this sealed. Oh, blocking skills, absolutely outstanding. Ishikawa and Onodora together, up together. Thou shalt not pass. Like a brick wall, and it takes them to set point. Set point for a two set to love advantage. Substitution for Japan. Sakita back on. When well, he went for it, didn't he? And why not on set point? Ishikawa. It's long. It's long and it's the set to Japan and it's a Serbian error that allows Japan to double their advantage. And they've taken this second set more emphatically than the first by 25 points to 12. And it's Japan, the underdogs on paper, the visitors here in Novi Sad, who lead the hosts by two sets to nil. Japan in dreamland here. Two sets up against their hosts, Serbia. In Novi Sad, having, it's worth repeating, having only won three times in the previous 24 meetings. Here is a, an analysis of the uh, spike placement from Japan's perspective, going down the line on 60% of the occasions, and uh, Nishida in particular, the left-hander, favouring that down the line shot and 
Nishida Ishikawa and Onodera are leading the way. Ishikawa is actually just now outpointed Nishida. The left there, the uh, president of Serbian volleyball. But he will be worried. Not enjoying what he's seen so far. The Serbian team was expected to kick off their VNL 2019 with a certainly a victory, if not a comfortable victory. Instead of which they find themselves trailing by two sets to nil against a really competent Japanese team who acquitted themselves well. So the comeback must start here. We've already had one five set match today. China and Germany. Can Japan seal this in three sets? That would be hugely impressive. Mental strength so so important here. And this young man has defied his age really. 19 years old. Nishida. There's the set. And yes it is, it's found its mark. Now then, Serbia win. The opening point of a set for the first time. It's Japan, they challenge here. Are we going to see a challenge? I don't think we are. Serbia, is that significant? To have won the first point of the set. Well, no matter, Japan have won the second. And uh, Ishikawa, once again, starting to pull away in terms of points scored from his teammates Nishida now leading him by by two so one apiece in this third set early stages great defense oh. that was well left and well watched by the uh, Serbian team and for the first time in the match Serbia lead in a set it's by a single point, that's something. <laughs> ah, that's terrific, the left-hander again, Nishida. Like a bullet, finding its way through the defences. Really travelling, the dummy there, coming in from Hakuri, creating the diversion. And Japan back on level terms early in this set, third set. Now those 50-50s are starting to go the way of the Serbian team. A block, Japan just not finding its mark. This is really where Japan have to be so, so careful. Good court coverage. Oh, and once again, excellent placement. Just waited and waited. And, uh, no words required, really. His facial expression says it all. He is the danger man. He's got to find a way of nullifying the presence of Ishikawa. That's terrific. Found a way through there nicely. As Katic. He's starting to have some joy on this left hand side. Serbia then maintaining this slender but could be crucial advantage in this third set. Just a sense that the belief is starting to grow here, not just amongst the players, but amongst the crowd as well. Oh, Shikari, he's so cute, isn't he? Really is. It's not all about power. 
It's brain as well as brawn. And that was beautifully done. Waited for the blockers. Sold them the dummy. Simic there wasn't able to mop up the pieces. Ishikawa then. Oh, that ball was spinning away. Had some real swerve on it. And Serbia come away with a crucial point there. In terms of speed of serve, top speed we're looking at around 135 kilometers an hour. That is traveling. That's right at the top of the, the range. Anything over 110, 115 is impressive. It's getting that control as well. Nicely done. There's the set. Excellent defensive work by the Libero there. And it's Serbia's turn to have to deal with this one. And they've dealt with it beautifully. Katic. And the advantage is two points. And on any other day, we wouldn't really be even mentioning that, but... It's because Serbia have been behind almost for the entire match. For them to have a two-point advantage at any stage could be significant here. Filimanovic. Based in Slovenia. No. It's just another example of the high-risk serve. Putting on the revs, putting on the the speed but the risk of losing control and that's what happened there oh, great block they're back in it Re Lee enjoying himself coming in here for floor touch referee just waiting for the replay to be shown again as things stand all square at six all but a challenge coming in here let's have another look at this ball of course is not allowed to touch the floor it just looks as though it came off the heel of one of the Serbian players To resume then. Excellent blocking. Really good recovery here from Japan. Or oh, Nishida on this occasion is thwarted. That was terrific from Krasmanovic. Challenge coming in from Japan. And this is a straight in or out challenge did it catch any of the line Japan want another look at this they're giving a real microscopic look they certainly want to see the replay so Japan trying to overturn here we are ball was out good challenge excellent challenge from Japan and in their corner there Serbia's lead is back to a single point. In fact, our scoreboard 
It's just been updated again. That score is not correct at the moment. And we are 7 6, so one point in the advantage. Terrific. Takahashi getting in on the act. So Serbia not able to build on that two point advantage. 320. That's starting to get quite serious. Excellent height from uh, Takahashi. That's well played. So technical timeout, and for the first time it's Serbia who go into that technical timeout with the lead. It is just a single point, and they do trail by. take this third set. Chance for Serbia to set again. Here come Japan. Nice, Shida. Ah, oh, terrific. Excellent angle, Takano. That was patient play there, patient build-up by Japan. Key passage of this third set. Slightly furrowed brow of Nikola Grovic there, the Serbian coach. Takano. That was travelling. It's well dealt with though by the Serbian team, and that's terrific. And it's Mech who's got one away here. Japan need to be careful here. Can Serbia stretch away? Take this third set. There is it. Who's the Sirich? Oh, it's just too much on that. That was a wicked serve. So they re established their two point advantage. They just seem to have tightened up in pretty much all aspects of the game. The loose shots were a feature of the first two sets gone away completely but they've certainly tightened them up well point to Serbia problem from Japan's point of view who call a timeout with a deficit three points here in this third set different from this from the other set from this one 
It's two men block, three men block. We are not winning anymore. Just take care because they changed some player. Number 24, I remind you, is line and long diagonal. So we close line and you defend long diagonal, okay? And we take the team by left, by left, okay? Coach there just uh, identifying David Mayich, the serving number 24. Covering the line and going for the diagonal. So that's the message that was put across during that tactical timeout from Japan. We'll keep an eye on David Mech. He's uh, starting to have some joy here. Five points to his name. That's just a useful point for uh, Japan. So approaching the midway point of this third set. Japan leading by two sets to zero. That's excellent defence. Nishida, Ishikawa, the two standout players for Japan combining well there. Oh, that's too good. That's cute from Simic. Once again, the... Advantage goes to three for Serbia. Good improvisation. Well, if Japan can just keep in, in touch with Serbia throughout this third set, who knows? put in a flourish towards the end they could just squeeze this match out it'll be quite a shock all the signs are Serbia will perhaps have too much for Japan in this third set but still plenty to go and once again it's Serbia who comes out on top of that net duel blocks were finding their mark in the first set and a half to two sets for Japan. Frustration there for Ishikawa. Nullified by the Serbian blockers and coming in from deep and it's not found its mark. Going down the line, Vizicevic, the right-hander, and not finding the court on that occasion. That Again, was a very, very makeable spike. Top scorer Ishikawa then. It's long. Now, this is a real test here for Japan. It's a young team the experience in this Serbian side. Ishikawa comes away with the point again. Nishida also played his part. Let's have a look at this again. There's the dummy from uh, Onodero. Oh, that's missed its mark again. Japan feel as though they can turn this third set around. The gap, remember, has been no more than three points to Serbia at any stage. Yeah, and that's a, that's a poor piece of execution. Onodera. Oh, too good. Short back lift. And that was dispatched really nicely by Krasmanovic.
plenty of movement in the uh, Japanese team. Oh, it's desperate defending. It's terrific from the libero for Serbia. Now the crowd would be absolutely ecstatic if they can turn this one round. Yes, they can. My word. Outstanding. Pekovic. Ha! Absolutely on fire there. That was terrific. Worth another look. Look how far out of the court he was. Full stretch. Almost a pancake. Almost flat to the ground. And then the dispatch. And Serbia reached the technical timeout with a three-point advantage in this third set restored. Serbia there looking a lot more comfortable than they did an hour ago. Can Japan respond? They've got a chance here. Yoshida, interestingly, has uh, been rather quiet in this third set so far. We haven't seen much of him. He was utterly dominant in the first two. Here he is now with that famous left hand. Again, real fizz on the serve. But it comes back with interest and Mitch, well, we were just talking about him in the previous timeout. I'm told to look out for him and he's continuing to make himself a nuisance here. It's going to take something special here from Japan to retrieve this third set. It's Mr. Smart. They're convinced it's touched. Will they challenge? Japan want to look at this to see if it was uh, in or out. Confident challenge. So difficult to see in real time when the ball is travelling at the speed it is. Comfortably out. Serbia's lead now is four points. Nishida. Here comes Serbia. And that is long. And again, that was unfortunate. Vizicevic. The 23, that's a, a let-off, really. That could easily have been a four-point advantage to Serbia. Japan have a chance here. They need to try and regain some momentum. Here is a Takano. They do have their four-point advantage now. Serbia then moving towards this third set and with it some momentum and the pressure starting to build on Japan with that two sets to nil lead desperate defending <laughs> Ishikawa once again Went for placement. 
Jury. Serving now within five of taking this third set. Edge then, who's featured prominently in this latest set. But a lifeline for Japan. And Ishikawa. 13 points to his name. Scored 49 recently in a couple of warm-up games against Italy, did uh, Ishikawa. So he's on good form coming into this tournament. Now then, Japan training by three, but leading by two sets. Oh, it's really well dug out at full stretch, and Serbia starting to impress here. They may have started slowly, but they're starting to find their rhythm and the quality. Japan want another look at that, but uh, in real time looked as though that had been dug out, the uh, pancake. But Japan will want this reviewed. No challenge available, of course they've only got two challenges per set. was requested but not granted. That's better. Uh, Japan needed that. Momentum starting to build from Serbia's point of view. finish this third set with a flourish or are we going into a fourth and maybe even a fifth that's better now then a little bit of momentum from Japan at precisely the right time excellent blocking really good from Takano and Serbia need to regroup and just have a little word and stop that momentum building very wise decision there from Nikola Grabic Crucial point then here, Japan trailing by just two points now. Having been on the back foot for much of this third set, can they finish here with a flourish? Japan slightly getting mixed up there, but they're still with the ball alive, and yes, finding their mark nicely there. Otake. On as a replacement, the opposite spiker enjoying himself bisecting those blockers beautifully just a point then the deficit and my word the pressure will be on Serbia were they to draw level here and it's Ishikawa with ball in hand replacements coming on for Serbia So a big moment here. Needs a good serve. Oh, it's terrific. Had real venom in that, but the libero has dug it out beautifully, as has his opposite number to keep the ball alive for Japan. Terrific defence. Oh, got that horribly wrong. They did the hard bit. 
Monadera, who has been really impressive, just didn't get his touch right on that occasion. They'd done the hard work to retrieve the ball and get themselves back into position. A 17 for Japan is on for number 14. Isahara is on for Ishikawa. Serbia then, three points from taking this third set. The captain, Petkovic, is back on. It's a good block, still work to do for Serbia. Did they get the touch? No, they didn't. There may be a challenge. That looked close to me, but Onodera, who was responsible for the loss of point just a few minutes ago, makes amends here. Petkovic retires. And here is Onodera. Milimanovic is on in place of the captain. Work to do. Nicely retrieved. Good placement. Oh, that's cute. Really nice. Terrific play there on such a big point. Just into no man's land there by uh, Busisevich. Now then, that was way, way long. And it's given Japan another chance here. Katic just a rush of blood to the head there. And the responsibility on the shoulders of Ise Otake. This is tight. So much at stake. You feel that if Serbia take this third set, we could go all the way to five. Japan would love it to be done in three. Excellent block. Now then. Back on level terms, have Japan saved the best till last. And there is Lee right in the thick of it here. Serbia timeout as well, they might, because they're two, point, two points from defeat here. This is a big moment in the match. And Japan, they were four points behind in this third set, now level. Isto ovo, pazite, on udara jako dobro u pet. Ok, znači, pomeramo malo liniju da zaštitimo ovaj deo vama, ok? Ajmo sad ovaj prokrije. Well, will that be the last time-out team talk from Nikola Gravic? His side, two points from defeat here. Japan, with the serve, remember could nick this right at the end. They need the perfect serve. And here is the man to try and provide it, Otake. What a responsibility for the opposite spiker. If you can find a mark here. Well, that's a great serve. Oh, it's too good. Pressure, what pressure? Now then, the platform is set. And almost unthinkably, Japan have a match point against the hosts Serbia in the opening game here of the VNL Pool 4 2019. Otake, he's done it once. Can he do it again? Match point Japan. Well dug out, work to do still here for Serbia. Yes, oh, what pressure. So, so cool, Mitch. Again, a match point down. And it's 24 points all. Two points required, of course, to be clear, to take the set or the match. So a reprieve for Serbia, but the pressure's still on here. 
Got away with that, Japan, rather. Desperate defending. Working their way back into this point nicely. Oh, they've done it. A little bit of good fortune there, but Mage once again in the thick of it. And Serbia, having been match point down, now have a set point of their own. And that was unlucky there. Just the, the net playing its part, just took the ball away from Sakita. Set point Serbia then. Japan wanting to prolong this match a little bit longer. And they've done it. They've come away with it. And a little understated tap of the head there from the coach. Nikola Grubic. And Serbia have ground out. There's no other word for it. Ground out this third set. Survived a match point and they've taken it by 26 points to 24 and Japan now lead by two sets to one. So the atmosphere in the arena a little bit lighter and more positive from a Serbian point of view. Let's just take a look at their spike contact points so far. And, uh, well, the left is having most attention. The left attack, and uh, Mej in particular was having great joy down that left-hand side. And it's much improved. They've tightened up in that area, particularly in that third set forced errors that were a feature of the first two seem to have been addressed. Much of that, of course, would be just feeling their way into the match. And the stats, the important numbers from set three. But it was still close. Could have gone either way. And, of course, Japan had that match point. And had they converted that, well, it would be all over. But as it is, the home crowd in the... Uh, Vodina Arena still with they hope two more sets of volleyball to enjoy Serbia certainly have got the momentum but they know that was close that third set still to come of course the other match on day one here in Novi Sad France against Russia it's a repeat of the VNL final from 2018 so the two best teams last year meeting in the first pool match here in 2019 Surprising that's been scheduled to be the evening match here in Novi Sad. I'm sure the organisers will be hoping that the crowd will stay and build for, for that match. So, work to do for Japan. Have to forget that match point that went missing. Serbia, 1-2 down. And once again, they get the first point, the opening point of the set as they did in set three but didn't do in either of the first two and Ishida well just as we were wondering whether he'd gone a little bit quiet in that third set he announces his presence in the fourth at the earliest opportunity of course, still only need one more set to win this match. More than capable of doing it.
it's a terrific serve. Excellent block. Has it found the line? No, it hasn't. Just spiraling out of court. placement but it's excellent defense he's played well as uh, Lily Manovic when he's been on court Japan then draw level early stages of this fourth set Takano for Japan it's played well the youngster. That's excellent. Dipping serve. Brilliant block. Ball still alive. Japan. Yes, come away with the spoils. Now then, Japan lead in this fourth set for the first time. Great resistance. Retrieved Ishikora and again he'll get another chance here. Not needed. And Serbia come away with the point there. So the pendulum swinging one way and then the other. Simic in the thick of this one. Clean ace. Clean ace. From uh, Pisasevich. And by contrast, the following serve goes into the net, and that exemplifies and just demonstrates the fine lines, the fine margins of what is a high-risk shot. You have to go for the for the serve, there's no doubt about that. Otherwise, it'll just get gobbled up. <laughs> Wonderful, man. She's made a real difference. He wasn't in the starting six, but my word, he's come good. David Mitch. Shida can't find a way through on this occasion. There's the libero with the set. Work to do here for his opposite number. Does well. That's terrific. Japan not going away at all. They will not lie down. And just as set three was, set four, very competitive indeed. Remember, Serbia led for much of that third set and were pegged back by Japan right at the death. Match point. Will that come back to haunt them, I wonder? He did really well to improvise there. Terrific adjustment. Height equals time. Terrific. Really good defence from Serbia. Hauling themselves back into that point. And the Libero playing his part. They knew it was uh, was down. A 
placements, of course, so, so important. Yamauchi the there. So approaching the first technical timeout of this fourth set, all square. And uh, Ishikawa. The top scorer in the match so far with 14 points, unable to make it 15. point and it's all square as we approach the first technical timeout of set four that was terrific there once again from Onodera middle blocker is a fine match just took the pace off the serve there nicely dug out Japan with a Chance to build here. Was there a touch? No. Well, Shikawa was convinced there was. Technical timeout with Serbia leading with a slender margin of a single point by eight points to seven. No touch at all there. Well, David, David Mage has made a real difference in the last, I'd say, set and a half. Right hand, they're coming in from that left hand side we saw the spike points earlier on the graphic showing how much success had been done diagonally cross court from that right hand side or left hand side should i say as we look at it from his perspective and he has 10 points to his name as the top serbian scorer now so finally poised is a way of describing this match as things stand, Japan leading by two sets to one, but Serbia playing well in this fourth set. Japan, though, with the slight advantage. Oh, that's a beautiful serve. Clean ace. The whole team just watched it float by and land in. Onodera. Third ace for him of the match. Oh, excellent scrambling. Shida. Well, he's convinced that was a, a touch. But it wasn't. And Japan's two-point lead is halved. Entertaining, absorbing opening match here in Novi Sad. First of six over the weekend. Russia, France to follow. Shida. Once again, he's Mr. Smart. That's two on the trot there for the 19 year old. And he started the match so, so well. He was out of the blocks really explosively. And he's just got off the boil here in. The last set or so, it's a couple of very makeable spikes that he's missed there. So all square in set four. Ah, oh, it's lovely, really nice set. Straight off the training court. Third time lucky he made that one. That was all about the set and a nice nod of approval there. Left-hander going down the line. Finding the space. So here is Nishida. He's done it again. 
again. So Nishida closing in on Ishikawa in terms of total points. And it found the line. Just bisected the, the two back row players. How about a third? Katic. Stinging the fingers. Desperate defending by Serbia. The ball's still alive. Chance for Japan here to finish it off. But no, the blocking's excellent. Vizicevic right in the thick of it. Excellent defending. And this fourth set again continues to absorb and entertain. Monster block. And worthy of that title. That was absolutely outstanding. Got his timing inch perfect. Along with uh, Chris Notch. Serbia then, trailing 10-11 in this fourth set. Which way will this match go? Terrific. Well, he's back on, on song now. And how dare we suggest that Nishida would be going walkabout. So Japan, with ball in hand, Takano, have the advantage here in this fourth set, oh that's desperately unlucky I was about to say but the ball's still alive but they can't make it count. Wow, that's terrific improvisation and reactions were absolutely outstanding. Simic. There's the set, there's the dummy. Japan equal to it. Ishikawa, yes, once again, coming away with the winning point. Japan looking to pull away here in set four. Japan leading by 14, 14 points to 12. Japan continuing to really ask the questions here of Serbia in this fourth set. And now pulling away again, 15-12 they lead. And this will be a famous victory if they're able to get over the finishing line here. Apologies for the slight technical problems with the graphics. I can assure you that it's 15-12 uh, Japan leading in this fourth set and by two sets to one remember so 
potentially 10 points from victory here. They did have a match point in set three, and they are starting to turn the screw here, and the smiles have returned on the Japanese faces. Technical timeout. 16-12, Japan lead. Serbia once again have questions to answer. 16-12. You respect the system, you respect everything. Now we have, you want to do two things, what we have to do. Don't take the first, if you can take. Huh? You make option four, why you jump on quick? Option four, go. Huh? We take responsibility from the beginning, you do well. We have to continue. Huh? Be sure about what you have to do. Sure, inside. Well, the positive mindset that they've had throughout this match needs to be maintained for another nine points. This is the 25th meeting between these two nations, both of them former Olympic champions back in the day. But the head-to-head, -head, as we mentioned right at the top of the match, 21-3 in Serbia's favour. Japan's last victory over Serbia came in 2006, and before that, the other two to go way back to the early 1960s. Nishida with great improvisation, keeping that ball alive for Japan. Ishikawa, great movement from the Japanese. If they get something out of this point, they'll be absolutely ecstatic, and they have. Oh my word! Backs against the wall stuff, Ishikawa. And Japan move ahead by 17 points to 12. And that was all down to the defence. Dogged defending, dogged determination. Eighteen twelve rotation problem for Serbia once again. And that's a free point giving to Japan, so another timeout called by Serbia. Well, this is going to take a monumental effort from Serbia. They managed to drag themselves back into the match in that third set, but here they trail by six points getting towards the business end of this fourth set. 18-12 the advantage to Serbia, to Japan, I should say. And it's Japan with the serve here through uh, Sakita. It's a reprieve there. So 18-13. Simic charged with trying to close this gap. Can Serbia? Utterly dominated Japan in recent meetings. Can they take this into a fifth set? Nice. The answer will be not if that man, Yuki Ishikawa, is in that sort of mood. Top scorer for Japan last year in the VNL, and here he is again. 18 points to his name here. This match today. Ooh, that's well done there. He's been quietly going about his business as uh, Petr Krasmanovic. So 19 14 now. Japan. Approaching two hours of play. Approaching the end of the fourth set, the, the final set. And of course, we'll want a fifth. Well, 
Ivanovic. Well, that's nicely done by the libero. Shida. That's surely far too good. Yes, it is. Running out of space. And now the magic, the psychologically important 20-point mark is reached by Japan. 2014. Just five points from what would be a famous victory. Onodera. And there's the signal. Which way is he going? And he read the signal well. That's terrific serving from Onodera. He's played his part. He's really enjoying himself. 21-14. Japan leading. Creeping towards the finish line. And Serbia call another timeout. These are nervy moments, important times for Serbia. Well, that's a deficit, seven points. Japan require four. Serbia needs something special now to take this match into a deciding set. The trail by two sets to one. They were outplayed, frankly, in the first two sets. They came back and regrouped. They were impressive in set three, but Japan have kicked on again here. Onodero. Great block. And it's all going Japan's way. And surely now... They must feel that this match is theirs for the taking. They did remember have a match point in set three. Twenty-two fourteen. So can Onodero retain the serve for the rest of this match? Be special. That's uh, a clean hit. Really nice. Got up very, very smartly, did Krasmanovic. 15 22. Serbia trail. They have to put something here together. A set saving sequence. Nicely dug out. And again. Time to rebuild. Ishida, yes, he's found a way through again. And just as he started the match, almost exactly two hours ago, Ishida is starting to make his presence felt. And Japan now with some comfort. An eight-point advantage. And just two points from victory here. Ishida, wouldn't it be fitting if he were able to serve it out for the Asian champions? Just a little bit too ambitious with that. Sixteen twenty-three, Serbia. Krasmanovic tasked with trying to bridge that gap. Where will Japan go with this? Into the hands of the blockers. That's the answer there. Surely they can't freeze now. Yet again, in set four. Serbia ominously starting to reduce that deficit. That's the one. That's the key score. Otake. Otake brings up match point for the second time. They had one in the third set, remember. This is the first match point in set four. Great defence. Is this the match-winning moment? Yes, it is! Ataki has done it. Well, it was Ataki who was involved in match points in set three. And it's the same player who has converted match point here in the opening match. 
terrific performance here from the Japanese. Absolutely outstanding. They raced into a two-set lead. They were the better side by some distance from Serbia, who started in a very lacklustre way, really. Serbia, in all credit to them, got themselves back into the match in the third set, taking that very narrowly by 26 points to 24. But all credit to Japan. They've got the job done in four sets and have sealed this by 25 points to 17 and win the opening match here in Novi Sad against Serbia in their own backyard by three sets to one. Well, a chastening defeat for Serbia. We will have more challenges ahead against the likes of Russia and France this weekend. They, incidentally, will be out on court in just under an hour's time. A rematch of the VNL final from 2018. But uh, what a start for Japan. And just to put it into context, only their fourth ever victory over Serbia. Their first since 2006. And earlier ones in the 1960s. Advantage Japan then, they won here by three sets to one.